And there's all sorts of things, contradictory bits of advice that you get as well. Right. So, like, I was told before my first scan that you'd need a full bladder and that they'll tell you before. So I, f- I hadn't heard anything, so I phoned up the Women's Health Centre in the hospital before I went and they said, no, no, we want an empty bladder. And then I got there and then it, it was hiding and they were maybe going to get a full bladder. Also, they said, definitely bring a urine sample. And I turned up and said to her, I've got a pocket full of wee-wee for you. <laughs> and she said, not for me. You don't take any urine on this one. But I went, oh, fair enough. I forgot about that. And after that, then they made me have a full bladder for the scan. Then that, that didn't work. I had to do a half wee, prepare yourself, practice your half wee. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, and then I went off after the scan. Happy as Larry because everything was all right and the relief. <laughs> but um, yeah, I went to a casting and then to a costume fitting, all with a pocket full of piss. And then she got the job. So maybe that's what you have to do from now on. A lucky pocket full of way. (laughs) A lucky pocket full of way. You have to remind me, actually, because we go to, obviously, we go to the same hospital. And I don't know, when I went in the toilet to go, well, that was just a general way. I wasn't Hmm. given any way. It was just just having a real life way. I was having a real life (laughs) way. (laughs) (laughs) It does get a bit like that. You're like, does anyone want this? It's just a (laughs) waste. It's going down there. And when I went in there, you know, there's like a little hatch. Someone's wee was sitting there. <gasps> got, Someone's left their wee. All I could think of was I could do all sorts. Which would be really cruel. Cool. Yeah. And obviously, I'm not cool. Um, but, um, no, so you've got your 12, for those that don't know, yeah. you've got the 12 week scan, so then you'll have your uh, next one at the 20 week. Mm. Which I've had, but I talked about the last, so they know all about that. Great. Um, and that's when you can find the sex. You're planning to find out the sex, Exciting. aren't you? Yeah, way. Yeah. I've kept it from these guys. Mm. If you look in her eyes. And you don't. <laughs> I just said, I've, I've got to keep viewers somehow. Um, <laughs> yeah, wait, it'd be an amazing surprise. Yeah, when they find out it's an alien. Um, no, I shouldn't say that really, should I? Especially when you watch one born every minute and some of them do look a bit like aliens. Mm, um, especially when they're first born. Oh, yeah, the, they have that blue thing. Why do you think they look like they're born black? <laughs> My mum says you mustn't ever name a child until you've seen it. <coughs> you mustn't ever call it ball bag, what you're going to say. She says you must, no one should name a child until they've seen it. And I think, well, if everyone names it on what they look like, as soon as it's yeah. born, all babies will be called ball bag. Or purple, or, yeah, or vibina. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scrooge. Oh, don't talk to me about the name. I think I have to do another uh, thing on that. Oh, yeah, I want to do a thing on, on, on the whole saying about secrecy, uh, keeping it secret. My, my new thing now is, oh, you've got a name? And um, and people and I don't want to say because I don't care what anyone says. I think you mustn't. Even if they like it, I'd be able to tell in their eyes if they go, oh, you know. And uh, so to people out there, like, don't ask people what the names are. Yeah. <laughs> Things that people don't talk about on all these different sites and stuff like that. And it is the wind. No one tells you about the farts. <laughs> everyone knows. Everyone knows it. Pregnant women get sick. Everyone knows about. Well, most people that have researched it, you could research until the methane cows come home. Yeah. And no one has written anywhere until now. Out loud, until we're now. saying it. You get oh boy. farts. Such offensive, loud, <laughs> constant fart. And you won't. It's not like before. You won't always know when they're coming. No. Sometimes they'll squeak out. As you're lifting, you have to pretend it was a bin lid. You, <laughs> it, They're not smelly, you, though. Are you all smelly? Well, only... No, no worse than... No, I don't think... No. It's, just, it's just constant. And it's, it feels like they've got this this force behind them that wasn't there before. <laughs> yes! It's like this kind of like... <laughs> toot, toot. <laughs> There's no... It's no sort of puffing out a sly one anymore. You got to, well, you're, you're blowing off the two. Yeah, you are. I love your thing about you were going under the tunnel... And then oh, you, had, you were like, oh, oh, brilliant. Yes, train's going over it. And I was like, <laughs> 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 I propelled myself through the tunnel just because of the joy of a train going overhead. Surrounded by people, but none of them could hear it because of the clatter, clatter, clatter of the train. Brilliant. Mm. So if you are a pregnant lady and farting as well, take comfort. It's natural. Yeah. Um, and if you're not pregnant and farting, then take comfort, it's natural. <laughs> comfort, it's natural. <laughs> and maybe sort out your fibre. Um, okay, uh, that's it for now. Um, I will put up uh, Jessica's Twitter here and mine here and follow us. And there'll be more vlogs. Bye. Bye. <laughs>